everyone, I'm Edvige. I'm a coastal magnolia and I live on the coast of Florida where I'm inspired by the ocean and everything around it. If you're an artist and you sell things on social media, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or Etsy, or you primarily sell at art and craft shows, you know you have to have a product that sells because let's face it, we want to make money as artists too, right? When you find a niche, you find something that people love and they buy it and you have a lot of success, it's really tempting to go on repeat and just repeat the same pattern or the same color, the same shape, because that's what people want. So you're going to give people what they want. So how do you stay true to yourself as an artist? When you want to offer a completely unique product, but that's still you know, remains popular and that continues to sell to your customers. Christmas ornaments are a big seller at my fall and winter craft shows here in Florida. So I, I try to make variations of similar ones. They're not all going to be the same. They may be the same style, but they're not going to be the same color. So the sunset shells, I decided to, to try something a little bit different with different colors rather than the standard brown, blue, and then the, uh, you know, red and orange for the sunset. Why not try some greens or maybe some reds and just be a little bit different. So it's still going to be kind of a sunset shell, but a little bit different. And so this is how I can kind of still stick to a formula but still offer something that is very unique. It's not a cookie cutter. It is not going to look like the same thing that they might see at a booth down the street or down the row of vendors. So these little sunset shells, this is my first year making them. And these are just pretty standard. Brown for the sand, blue for the ocean, red for the sunset and then I'm drawing on a little palm tree. We have palm trees everywhere here in Florida. There are some with um, very fuzzy tops and little branch or not branches but a fronds and then we have some that have really tall fronds and then some that have coconuts and that's some that almost touch the ground and I mean they're just all different varieties so all of these shells are going to have different varieties of the fronds and I mainly use a black paint pen to draw the palm tree and then I just highlight with gold and sometimes silver and sometimes brown and, and green and that's how I'm making them unique. What generally stays consistent on these sunset ornaments is the crushed glass or shells that I add along the bottom to mimic the sand. I'm using UV resin on this set to attach the little bits of crushed glass and shells to the bottom. And I'm only using the UV resin at the bottom and I end up spraying the rest of the shells with clear Rust-Oleum spray just to give it some shine. But my preference is to use a KS resin liquidy split on the entire shell because it just they just turn out better in my opinion. So that's my go-to. And then I just added the crushed glass and the shells here. And then of course they all need little hangers on the back and I just use a hot glue gun with raffia ribbon and a little glass bead from the dollar store. So with a few variations I was able to stick to my formula and still be able to offer a pretty unique product. I think these original sunset shells probably will be um, be more popular, but you know, I still want uh, to offer variations and just try something something different. I mean, you just never know what people people will want. So I hope you learned something new, and don't be afraid to try try different things too. Don't be afraid to try different colors and different techniques. That's how you grow and learn as an artist and and learn to what might be popular in, in your area. 
So good luck, happy crafting, and um, please subscribe to my channel and help me grow. Bye.